everyone, it's Presleyact at Games.com here, and today we're going to be talking about Season 2 of Dark Matter because it just ended. Yeah, I think we may just talk about Dark Matter in, in general. general. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Season 2 just ended, but season I think it'll we'll be sort ended, of a, yeah. Dark Matter. Yeah, and relatively non-spoilery, but probably not 100% non-spoilery. Yeah. <laughs> like high-level plot and, and concepts and stuff like that, I think we'll talk about a little bit, right? Yeah. But not go into a lot of details, right? Yeah, we're not going to like tell you, like, uh, you go by each individual episode. Yeah, like really, I think we just we just want to encourage everybody to watch the show. Yeah. Because it's such a good show. Yeah, yeah. It's so well-written and, and acted. No... And... <laughs> and, like, there's no one to talk to about it. Because it's not like one of those, it's relatively small. So it's not, it's not a like huge, a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not like Steven Universe or yeah, um, something yeah. like that where I can go into the Tumblr tag and there's lots of posts. It's very hard. There's the not fandom is, is limited. Yeah. Right? Especially the people small. that are really into it and talking about it. Yeah. So, yeah. So do you want to give like a really quick summary of uh, what the show is about overall? Okay, like Dark Over, Matter? overall. Yeah. Um, should I do like my normal spiel where I talk about how, it, like sort of how it starts? And then, or do I just talk about overall? <laughs> just tell people what it's about. I do normal thing. Dude, what whatever. it's about. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. Cool. I don't know what your normal spiel is. Oh, I'm, I, I'm not around is... you when you tell people about <laughs> I it. I tell all my friends about it. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's really high level what the show's about. So it's about this group of criminals that have all lost their memories. Mm -hmm. Because while in stasis, um, their memories got deleted. So, yeah, they got deleted. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so they got deleted. Um, so they have no idea who they are, mm -hmm. and the whole show is sort of about them figuring out who they are, and because like they have connections with people because mm -hmm. they sure. they were they're a band of criminals clearly. Yeah. So they have um, like connections with corporations, and they're working for people, and they have missions they're supposed to be doing, except they have no idea about any of that. Yeah. Um, so the whole show is really <clears> about them sort of figuring out who they are and trying to make their way around um, by. Really, like they don't really know who they are, and they're we're still we still don't know too much about them, but we're learning more. Yeah, we learn more as time goes on. Yeah, so they're they're in stasis at the beginning of the show. Yeah, and they slowly like one by one come out of stasis, mm -hmm. and they have no idea who they are or why they're on the ship or like what's going on. Right. So they name themselves based on the order they woke up. Right. So, so when you hear one, people two, say three, you know one two three four, there's six of them, mm -hmm. and, and and a couple of androids get involved in the mix later, but there are six of the main characters, yes. and they name themselves one through six in the order that they woke up. So mm -hmm. in our cosplays, I guess we should mention that we're wearing our oh, cosplays. Yes, we are. Uh, That's Presley, why I have blue hair. <laughs> right. You are. I'm five. And I am three. Yes. So uh, and it's just in the order. So my na his name is actually Boone. Marcus you Boone. learn Marcus Boone later. Um, and your name? My name is... There's like five different ones. <laughs> For five? Yeah, there's five. Five has she, five different names. <laughs> she has a lot of different names, but Dash or Emily Colburn. They're the big... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The two... So they find the out. Yeah, names. they slowly find out more. Because they also... Uh, all the records about them were wiped from the ship's memory, too. Yeah. Right? So the ship doesn't know. The android doesn't know. Like, no one knows who they are. Yeah. So it's not just going and sort of looking stuff up and seeing who they are. <laughs> that like would almost, be Yeah, almost everything that identifies them has been wiped out, and so they really have no idea who they are or what yeah. they're doing. And it is like, you know... I don't know. To me, it's very much sort of a spiritual successor of like Firefly or something like that. I because the, Firefly. I saw yeah, one episode. Yeah, you should watch more Firefly. It like it's it's fun and entertaining, and the, the, the like sometimes you just get a show together, and the chemistry of the cast is really strong. Yeah. And this is one of those shows. Like yeah. the chemistry and the way people interact together is just really. It makes it you know bigger than the sum so of its parts. Good. Yeah, the, the character the characters are written really well, mm. and just the way that the actors sort of take on the roles and interact with each other, I think, is really strong. Yeah. And we were lucky enough to meet a bunch of the cast, right? We didn't meet everyone, um, but we met a lot of people. Presley got to interview them, do like yeah. a group interview, and then she actually sat down and did a one-on-one -on -one interview with five. Yes. Uh, that was really cool, and they were just ridiculously nice people. <laughs> I and took a Snapchat selfie with two. You did. You did a, she did a face swap with two. Um, we did a... a like they were, we did a, especially did a group interview with them, yeah. and they were very sort of reflective about their roles and about like the characters and what it, it was meant. So weird because, um, like, especially two is sort of the captain of the ship, mm -hmm. so it was really weird like seeing her in person because it seems like she should she should be like barking captain's orders at uh -huh. everyone, right? But she's not. She was a little bit in charge though. Yeah, she, she was. did take charge of the group interview a little bit. You got to give her credit that yes. she did sort of step um, up and play that role. And it's so weird because like I'm used to. Um, I watch like a lot of cartoons and a lot of shows that I really mm -hmm. enjoy are animated. Uh -huh. So when you meet the people in real mm -hmm. life, they don't really sound exactly uh, like the yeah, characters, no, but they sounded exactly <laughs> like these people. Yeah. And I'm like, they look like is, them. They sounded like them. Yeah. <laughs> and like Roger was like just a ridiculously nice guy, and he was always smiling and laughing. And like they Presley asked him questions about like 
gender roles in the future, like they're portraying a future in which you know the this the two who is a woman steps up and takes control of the ship when yes. nobody has any idea what their real roles are. Yeah, and no sort of one questions these, it, right? In it's a, it's sort of apparent that she was the captain too, even before she. She has sort of this like innate that. ability yeah, to be a leader. Everyone right. has their everyone has like their instincts still. Yeah, and they're like um, muscle memory. They sort mm -hmm. of still have. That's true. So four can um, sword fight, and five knows a lot about tech stuff. And yeah. three knows how to gun. <laughs> he doesn't know how to gun. So they really, but it was really cool that they had thought a lot about those things and like yeah. in conversations. Like clearly they're very thoughtful about their characters and where the story is going and stuff. And I think something really cool about this show is that they don't like they don't really read the scripts beforehand. So they're learning about their characters mm -hmm. as the show progresses, mm -hmm. just like the audience is. Mm -hmm. So like if you ask like where do you like what non spoilery thing can you give to show where the show is going? She's like. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, they learn, haven't told us yet. Yeah, right. they haven't told us. Which I think is really cool, and it definitely affects the acting because you can see. Yeah. Because they're surprised sometimes. Yeah, too. yeah. They're surprised that this stuff happens, and the characters, don't, um, the actors and the characters don't know what's going to happen to them, mm -hmm. which makes it for a lot better acting. Yeah. So two two things that I really want to bring up before we talk forever about because we could we <laughs> yeah. actually we really love the show, <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, and the, the people I know that I've gotten to watch it like some of the people I work with I've gotten to watch it and they all love it like it's re it, it's really good and it starts strong it's not something like uh, you give it like five episodes to kind of get into and stuff I think it really starts strong but yeah, it starts really nice, right? I, I want to talk about the. Um, um, like the the conceptual stuff that's happening like under the layers there's a lots of sort of philosophical layers that are taking place under what you're watching and what you're watching just for pure entertainment purposes if you just watch the show and you just follow what's happening on the surface it, it's it's totally great and entertaining but if you think a little bit about what they're saying in the story and in the writing like i'm really fascinated by it. you know they're taking what like presley said this group of relatively horrible people um and they go into stasis and when they come out of stasis, they have no idea who they are, mm -hmm. right? And they all sort of become good people, right? Mm -hmm. And it's playing with this idea that everybody is a good person. Mm -hmm. And then through like a series of events, you, become you can be turned into a bad person yeah. or jaded or you can make bad decisions or feel like you're forced, painted into a corner and you have to do these horrible things, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's sort of this idea if when they come out of those stasis chambers, they no longer have all of those experiences. They don't remember everything that led them to being bad people. And so they turn back into good people, right? Yeah. And they play around with it enough, like at one point they regain their memory, um, mm -hmm. and but they don't know all the new stuff that they've learned. And so well, they, they go back like. to being horrible people because they've got all the, it's just getting those memories back, turn them back into horrible people. Mm -hmm. So it's this very interesting, like philosophical statement mm -hmm. that people are inherently good mm -hmm. and it's the experiences that make them do bad things, yeah. right? And they and, play with that um, a lot. Towards the end of season two, they definitely, like they oh, totally. really, really hardcore. No, I, yeah, absolutely. Like so I, I can't much. even tell you about the stuff that happens <laughs> because it's so spoilery to come yeah, into it. But, but they, they play, play with it like really interesting ways. And the idea of, if you sort of can bring both of those, all the experiences that you've had since you came out of stasis, mm -hmm. plus all of the stuff that happened before you mm -hmm. went into stasis, what, who do you turn out being if you blend them together? Because yeah. they, 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 do, they do, so you have only your new memories and you don't have your old memories, and then they do, you only have your old memories and you don't have your new memories, mm -hmm. and then they do, you have both and start playing around with like yeah. what those combinations do to you as a person and your morality and stuff. And it's just so strong, so yeah, well written, so right? Um, it's, it's fantastic. And these actors like deliver on that stuff in amazing ways, right? Yeah. And then watching Android and like how she yes, acts Android. as an Android. Android's, Android's, Android's and then she favorite. gets like an upgrade mm -hmm. that makes her act more human. And so the, the, the actress gets to act more human and sort of like change the That's way that she- really, really relieving for her. I'm sure, I'm sure it was, but she's so good at it, right? Like the whole thing is, she reminds me a lot of, uh, if you've watched Stranger Things, she reminds me of Eleven because Eleven has to act like all of these things are new to her and she yeah. doesn't understand all these things and that are going on. Cool. And they, she does it great too, like both of those, like uh, yeah. I love both of those shows, but yeah. she reminds me a lot of that kind of naive thing, right? Yeah, um, Go ahead. actually I love, I just love Androids. And towards the beginning of the show, um, Android is sort of like one of the best ways to write an Android, the clueless Android, that's like, there is a 37% no. probability that you will live. Yeah, <laughs> right. And I love clueless Androids so much. <laughs> like, it's so amazing. So they, um, did, they did that really, uh, one of the questions I wanted to ask for you, this is almost like Presley's perspective, right? Yeah. Um, so, I, just as I was thinking about this today, I knew we were going to talk about this and I was kind of thinking about it, I was wondering, like, we haven't really run into alien races. Right, really. like everybody's human. Yeah, and so, and I'm starting to think as I think about it. Androids, we're not 
Yeah, but that's not the same thing. We built those androids. Humans yeah. built those androids. And so I think that they talk about Terra Prime, which yeah. is Earth, yeah. right? So I think it may be like entirely Earth-based population, mm -hmm. and everyone else who is out in the universe has has colonized from Earth. Mm -hmm. I think everyone originated, all of the, the sentient life in the universe originated from Earth but we don't and really went out. Into animals and either. that may be one of the reasons that you have like a very feudal Japan culture mm -hmm. out in space somewhere. Yeah. It's because those people probably came from Japan, yeah. right? And so you probably, and there's these miners, and it deals with this whole, the idea you see a lot in sci-fi of corporations sort of replacing countries. Yeah. And so the corporations sort of run everything. Um, and But it just sort of struck me as odd that mm -hmm. in this, they clearly can travel all over the galaxy, Has right? Been they Has do. Have there been animals? I haven't seen many animals in the show either. I don't know. Maybe on some of the planets I've seen a couple. Yeah. yeah. But not a ton. That's a good point. They're having a lot. But I just Maybe wonder, those. I wonder if they're making a statement mm -hmm. that humans from Earth are the only sentient life in the galaxy. I wonder if they're making a it's conscious decision to, to say, um, this is what we're saying, like, own life only got to this level on Earth and we've gone out and colonized the rest of the universe. And we've traveled all over the universe mm -hmm. and we can go anywhere we want. And we've been doing it for a lot of, long time, obviously. Mm -hmm. But there's not talk about alien races that you're not seeing alien races in like a big you know when you go to a space what are you a space station yeah, and not, people are kind of hanging out there's, there's not people. different races wandering around right <laughs> and i don't know how much of that's like budgetary like we, we don't have the money to, to put people in costumes and build all these crazy things or that it would be a tangent from kind of what's going on and how yeah. much of it is sort of because it seems like a thoughtful show it seems like they think about all the things they do so i wonder if they're actually making a statement about like the fermi paradox and that life hasn't advanced to this level anywhere else in the galaxy and it's just us spreading out and colonizing the galaxy. What do you think? We also don't know how far it is in the future too. Like, hey, but don't... clearly they're they're going everywhere, right? Yeah. They're they're all over the but place. But it's also possible that some alien races have evolved to like be able to take some sort of human form because it seems like yeah. something better yeah, yeah. because then they won't be mistaken because then it's like a survivability thing. Right. Too. So that was kind of the thing. Like yeah. we don't know for sure that all of these these humanoids or human beings that are that are out there that they're running into came from Earth. Mm -hmm. Like that's an assumption that I'm making yeah. based on something. I, don't I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, like I love that, that the show gives the gives show. you stuff like that to think about and play with. Yeah. Right? Anything, even if that's not on purpose, and I'm just <laughs> in my head thinking about that. I think it's cool to kind of. Yeah. think about those kinds of things right it's a really cool it's a cool show yeah yeah what else do you want to tell people about um i don't know i just think that the concepts they play with are so cool and so good all of the characters are extremely well written like yeah. um just every single character has like something that you would like about them right. like um i enjoy thoroughly like every character in the cast and it's all so amazing and the thing with this show is they'll take a miss like what they do is sometimes they do things um i think they do it on purpose like they do things really abruptly and then you just have to think about it a yeah, lot. yeah yeah yeah. like Absolutely. just this thing just happened some things like, build up and then some things are really quick like the yeah. pacing is really interesting and yeah. like the interaction between these two characters yeah. has gotten just so awesome it's so like good. it's my favorite part There's of the show probably episode. right now um it's like 211 something uh i think it's it's something like that and it it's like my favorite episode and it's so good like i love the interactions between these two because i can non spoiler you give um uh like sort of an uh what's it called personality that word yeah, yeah yeah um so five is clearly the youngest that's why i'm cosplaying her mm -hmm. and she's all like techie and young and then three is sort of that character who's really really rude but also like kind of a really nice person inside <laughs> hey, like, he, so, probably not so much before the amnesia not before the amnesia <laughs> not be no not before the amnesia so it's interesting too amnesia. because you get to see some of their interactions yeah. before the amnesia too they do some flashbacks and show you kind of how bad, how bad it was oh, before no. and no, then like have, how like, good it is now and how good their relationship really, is and, and how <laughs> so there's arcs like the characters are developed no please go ahead yay um i think one of the cool things about the show is like Everyone all at once becomes Five's parents. Yeah. And everyone has, there's like different parent types. So there's like the overly protective parents. And then three is just like, here, child, have some guns. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a, it's, it's, it's really it's so cool good. to and watch the relationships because they they're having to rebuild their relationships because they don't know who each yeah, other are. Who are, and they're developing they're even if they knew like they're developing relationships with new people practically and they're all yeah. kind of starting over and they just have this common bond of we don't know who we, we are. don't know who we are right that's what makes them a family right is yeah. that they don't they all share this experience none of the two characters are really alike um, oh not so at all they're all yeah. completely different and like to, if you just throw these all these people 
without knowing who they were on yeah. a spaceship. I mm. mean, they're obviously doing it just because they got paid to. So yeah, yeah. Um, they would. Yeah, and like the first two it. episodes of how all that plays. Like, I don't want to talk too much about how yeah. that all plays out and stuff, but how it's they so figure out who they are and how they have to make decisions about what to do and stuff. It's just, it's just so good. So the the, the the short version is like watch watch, watch the show, watch right? the show. <laughs> and let us know what you think if you're watching us. Let us know what you're thinking about it now. Um, and if you start watching it, let, let us know what you think because it's it's awesome. And it's only two seasons in, so you got plenty of time to watch and catch up before the next one happens. Something like that. I yeah. Think 13. 12, 13 episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. On Netflix. Yeah. The, the first season's on Netflix. It's on sci-fi. It's on sci-fi. So the, the show airs on sci-fi, so if you have like on-demand on your cable, you can watch it on sci-fi. Um, you, you, the first season is on Netflix right now. There's and the other second season, I think, it. is on their website, on sci-fi. That may be true. I yeah. think so. I don't, I don't know. We, Some of the episodes are, at least. We Tebow it and watch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really good. Please watch it. I'm trying my best to convince all my friends. No. I'm like, the first season on Netflix, second season on their website. Please watch it. I really, really want to talk about it. Really, really, really good. Yes. We'd love more people to talk about it anyway. Mm. Yeah, cool. So if you want to keep up with us watching the show, yes. next season when it comes around, we'll probably even be doing some like live streams. We'll do some live streams watching the show and kind of talk about the episodes and stuff like that. Uh, click the subscribe button down there. Yes. Um, and uh, keep up with that and Stranger Things and other geekery, hilarious <laughs> geekery that we'll keep yeah. talking about. Uh, yeah. But yeah, just subscribe, follow, uh, uh, watch what we do. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye guys.